Welcome back to Visual Learners. Today, we're diving into a revolution that's reshaping our future, humanoid robot. And leading this charge are two newly unveiled marvels, Neo 2 and Figure 2. Buckle up because this is gonna be a wild ride. Humanoid robots in your house is no longer a thing of the future because One X have just shocked the world by releasing the first look at Neo. Neo is designed from the ground up to be a consumer robot. In other words, uh, your ethical slave. Yeah, anything you want it to do around the house, chore wise, it'll do. Unload the dishwasher, make the bed, hang up the laundry, kiss you goodnight, oil you up. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Hey Digit, take the box with the heaviest animal and move it to Tower 4. This is Digit, a robot who sort of looks like a person, hence the name humanoid robot. Technically, these are called bipedal humanoid robots using semantic intelligence. It's able to interpret commands from people and then make its own decisions about how to act. So the goal is for him to be able to interpret normal human language to say, hey, I need you to pick this box up help me out in this instance. Is that where you see this going? Yeah, and I think it will generally be probably less of a, I need you to do this one thing for me and more of a do this for me forever in the corner of the facility. Robots like this one are catching the attention and billions of investment dollars from big tech companies like Amazon, Google, Nvidia, and Microsoft. Elon Musk is betting the future of Tesla on these machines. As you see Optimus develop, it's really gonna transform the, the world, uh, I think, to a degree even greater than the cars. Some also argue robots like Digit can solve the world's labor crisis, filling jobs that are too dangerous or that people simply don't want. They may even replace an aging workforce as people around the world have fewer kids. First up, let's talk about Neo2, developed by OneX Technologies. If you've ever wished for a robot to help out around the house, Neo2 might be your new best friend. Standing at about 1.7 meters tall, Neo2 is built to mimic human movement with incredible precision. Yeah. But what really sets it apart is its ability to perform household chores. From vacuuming to dishwashing, Neo2 is designed to handle the mundane tasks that eat up our time. But Neo2 isn't just a one-trick pony. Thanks to its advanced AI and machine learning capabilities, it can adapt to your home's layout, learn your preferences, and even assist with the more complex tasks like organizing your home office or prepping ingredients for dinner. It's like having a personal assistant, but one that doesn't need breaks or sleep. This new robotics video just dropped from 1X Robotics and it shows a pretty lifelike android in a home who then actually wants to get a hug. It feels so sad. And I think this is a good entry point to the next stage of AI, which is putting the AIs that we've been talking about into the brains of robots and putting them in the home. But I want you all to look at this hug really closely. It's sweet and, you know, semi disturbing. And if you listen to the audio from this video, it's got like this kind of droney soundtrack on it. But what if that hug got a little too strong? This is something we have to start thinking about. I'm glad to have one of these in my house to do my laundry and all sorts of other stuff, but what if the hug gets too strong? 1X, backed by OpenAI, secures an additional $100 million in funding for the competitive race towards humanoid robots. The pursuit of perfecting the humanoid form factor stands out as a defining tech narrative for 2024. The preceding year witnessed heightened activity in this domain, with companies such as Tesla, Afternic and Figure introducing their systems. Meanwhile, Agility moved closer to the finish line by unveiling a warehouse pilot in collaboration with Amazon. Despite its notable contributions, 1X, a Norwegian firm, has not garnered as much attention as some of its counterparts. In April, the company made a splash by announcing a $23.5 million funding round. In this case, the significance of the participants arguably outweighs the monetary value raised. Tiger Global's involvement is noteworthy, but the lead from OpenAI captured the most attention, given its pivotal role in the meteoric rise of generative AI over the past year. This technology is expected to play a substantial role in shaping the future of robotics, and OpenAI appears to have chosen its strategic direction. Recently, 1X revealed a substantial increase in funding 
securing $100 million in a Series B round, nearly quadrupling its initial amount. EQT Ventures now takes the top billing. Now let's shift gears to Figure 2 the brainchild of an open AI-backed startup, Figure. While Neo2 is all about making your home life easier, Figures O2 is aimed at taking on the jobs that are too dangerous, dull, or downright undesirable for humans. Standing slightly taller than Neo2 at around 1.8 meters, Figures O2 is designed with rugged environments in mind. Think construction sites, warehouses, and even hospitals. This robot is built tough with a robust frame and AI-powered precision that allows it to perform tasks that require both strength and delicacy. But what makes Figures O2 really fascinating is its adaptability. It can be programmed to take on a wide variety of roles, from heavy lifting on a construction site to assisting in delicate medical procedures. And just like Neo2, it learns and evolves, making it more efficient over time. The Figure 2 humanoid robot just launched, and it's a game changer in robotics. Building on the Figure 1 prototype, this new model hides its wires signaling a shift toward a production-ready design, similar to advancements seen in Teslabot and Boston Dynamics's Atlas. Figure 2 boasts six onboard cameras and advanced hands with human-like strength, capable of lifting up to 25 kilograms. Its battery life is also enhanced, offering over 50% more energy for extended operation. With a partnership with OpenAI, you can chat with Figure 2, just like using ChatGPT. Plus, a collaboration with BMW explores its potential in car manufacturing. Figure 2 is pushing the boundaries of what humanoid robots can do. Figure has just released a trailer for their latest robot update, the Figure 02, which comes with several notable enhancements over its predecessor, 01. Visually, Figure 02 sports a new color scheme, marking a distinct change from 01's design. However, the most significant improvements lie in its actuators and their capabilities. The new actuators in Figure 02 have a torque of 150 newton meters, a notable improvement over 01. This increase means that the payload capacity will exceed the 20 kilograms limit of 01. The knee joint actuator offers a range of motion of 135 degrees, while the actuator at the waist or pelvic region extends to 195 degrees. These ranges of motion are impressive when compared to human joints, providing the robot with enhanced flexibility and functional versatility. For instance, a human knee typically has a range of motion up to 155 degrees and the human waist has about 90 degrees. Additionally, Zero Two's hands exhibit improved dexterity with smoother and more human-like finger movements compared to Zero One this advancement in finger dexterity is crucial for tasks that require precision and delicate handling, making Zero Two more adept at performing complex tasks in various environments. Furthermore, the new 150 newton meters actuators are expected to enhance the walking speed of Figure Zero Two, surpassing the 1.2 meters per second speed of Zero One. This improvement in locomotion is crucial for applications requiring quick and efficient movement. The trailer concludes by confirming that Figure 02, like its predecessor, is electric. This means it uses electric actuators, which offer several advantages. Electric actuators provide precise control, are generally quieter, and have a higher efficiency compared to their hydraulic or pneumatic counterparts. They also allow for easier integration with the robot's control systems, making the overall operation more seamless and reliable. A notable advantage of electric actuators is their low maintenance. Electric actuators require less maintenance because they have fewer moving parts and do not rely on fluid power sources. This advantage was a key reason Boston Dynamics decided to abandon the Atlas HD, which used hydraulic actuators. The hydraulic systems were expensive to maintain, produced a lot of noise and were prone to leaks. Consequently, Boston Dynamics transitioned to using electric actuators in their new Atlas robot, benefiting from reduced maintenance needs and improved operational efficiency. What do you think about humanoid robots? Would you welcome one into your home? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Visual Learners for more deep dives into the tech that's shaping our world.